Hey everybody, it's Tapmaster. We're playing Neja today. We're against a Cupid, which is fine. This matchup actually has some interesting things. For example, Neja is one of the few gods that can use his quote-unquote escape in a cripple. So if Cupid cripples me, I can actually latch onto him with my sash and immune it. So kind, kind of interesting. Uh, a better way to describe it is Neja is one of the few gods that can use a mobility ability in, in a cripple. Yeah, so that's the best way to say it. I can also counter ult him. I can do a lot of stuff. This is this is gonna be interesting. I'm still gonna go beads though, for the chance that my sash is down. What does it even count as? It's a projectile slash dash, but you can use it while crippled. So ha! And you're also immune to it, it stuff in the air. So it's like a leap. It's a weird ability. The more you think about it, the weirder it is. Right, I'm gonna grab you real quick. If you don't mind. Give me the big auto. Oh, oh. that sucks. Okay, Al, can you, like, not hit me so hard? You didn't get your hearts, did you? You didn't, right? You didn't. Oh, he got his passive off red buff. Smart. He's a stun bomb. Alright, well, your stun bomb's gone. Maybe I should level up my two for some heals. Because without my heals, I can't even fight in the minions. Which kind of sucks. Okay. Alright, nice. That is a beads from him. So once I hit level 5, it'll be tempting to try something. I'm not, I'm not in that, right? Yeah, no. Please give me level 4. Give me level 4 like right now. Oh god. Dang it. Close. I couldn't use my one quite yet. Actually, uh, let's go boots before transcendence. Yeah. Well, maybe not because tier 1 boots suck. I thought I could maybe afford tier 2 boots. Doesn't matter, I'm not gonna stay long. I'm just gonna take my buff and back probably. Or take my buff and wave. Yeah, I'm a Diamond Neja, I've got one star on him. So I do play him now and then, and he's super fun in duel. Super fun god. But of course, he has some issues because his wave clear isn't as good as other gods, and he can get out pressured. His damage is good though. Just let me immune that with my sash. Oh, I was going to try to cut him off, but his dash goes way farther than I remember it going. Can I take your blue buff? Or he doesn't even have red buff on him. Maybe I can get both. If I'm feeling cheeky. Maybe I can get both. The only thing is he just healed. And one heart bomb will kill me. So I have to immune this. Let's level up our three. Dodge it! Nice. The crit! Thank you so much, crit gods. Thank you, crit gods. That 15% crit. I would have died. Crit is one of the most unfun things to fight, but the funnest thing to fight with. Give me a crit. Ah, nope. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. And I'm out of here. Okay. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I think leveling up the, th the three helped me there as well. Good stuff, good stuff. Now I'm ahead of him, even though he got first blood. Are you going at Transcendence as well, my friend? I do like Transcendence on Cupid. I think he's just dead. Yeah. Once you get a lead on Sneja, then he starts to keep it. Just because his ult hits so hard. Sneja from behind kind of sucks, but Sneja from ahead's really good. Just because uh, all of his abilities are meant to initiate with, you know? His three's meant to initiate, his one's meant to slow them and initiate. His ultimate's a long ranged initiate if you can land that. So it's all good. Let's see if we can force his escape. Oh! 
That was a big crit. I missed one auto. It's not so much I missed it that I just wasn't close enough. That was a big crit on him, though. <laughs> We're hitting him pretty hard. Next time we have our ult, we should be able to kill him as long as I'm, I play around his beads. We are neck and neck. The gold is so close. Can't quite take that yet. All right, my alt is ready, but let's take this first. A nice little thing you can do with Neja is whenever you use an ability, it gets rid of his auto attack penalty in that moment. So it's kind of like if you use your abilities at the right time, you can have a hasten effect. It's hard to, it's kind of weird. Should I wait for him to dash or should I just go for it? Give me the max range alt, come on, come on, come on. You make that too easy when you go for the alt or for the heart. I was half expecting him to go for the heart and then backstep. That would have been hilarious. I would have died. <laughs> but I, I stuck with my gut. Very nice. Oh, do I need beats? Yeah, I do. I didn't get the crit! I was banking on the crit. Ooh, Heartseeker? Heartseeker get Heartseeker on Neja? Yes. Heartseeker against Cupid? No. Cupid's way too squishy. Uh, we do have Transcendence now. Oh, he finished Transcendence before me because he got he actually backed. Well, when I killed him, you know. This is a high kill game. I like high kill games. I think they're fun. Yo, know, there's been one kill a minute, and it's neck and neck. That's always that's always the best. Close dual games with high kills. Because it means both players are actually fighting rather than just sitting in sitting in a tower. Oh, are you taking blue buff? I wonder if he took red. Probably. But we will find out. Yeah, he took it. Okay. You can use your beads if I do this. Yeah. Barely didn't kill him. Barely didn't kill him. If I... I auto attack canceled pretty well, but I could have done it way better. Probably would be able to kill him then. Oh, he's staying though. Well, if he stays, then I can kill. Well, he's just gonna heal though. Yeah, never mind. I will die if I stay. However, I do have wards, and is he gonna go? Is he gonna back? Because if he backs, we're doing this. Because if he backs, I can take this. I have the auto attack damage. Okay, just barely. Alright, alright, alright. Good stuff. Yeah, we had the wards in case things went sour, but they did not. I almost have my ult again, and her his beats are down. Alright, let's go, Cupid. Just you and me, no tower. No tower to keep you safe. Uh oh, I don't have anything. Oh god. This went badly. Okay. I'm still staying because I'm a mad lad. Plus his beads are down. And I'm going for it. Go for it. You didn't die. <laughs> no. You didn't die. The tier 2 defense was too much. Should I get thorns or blink? I'm going to blink. I need to play more aggressive, obviously. Uh, we need a Brawlers. Brawlers after after Breastplate sounds pretty good to me. And then maybe... I just hate Titan's Ban. I might just go with a bunch of Flat Ban. As long as he doesn't go double defense, that'll be fine. Crit! Big crit! Alright, it's fine. And Bull Demon's still down, so hey, this actually kind of works. Oh man. Okay. 
And this is down too? Okay, well, we still get tower because now that minions are here, backdoor protections are gone. Reminder that backdoor protections are, is a 50% reduction. Just however much damage you would do with minions, you do half of that without minions. I think it's rounded down, I don't know. Oh, buddy. Uh-oh. Oh, I walked into that one. Good beads, bad snipe ball. I, I should have taken my time with that. It was really important to hit that. Oh, let's get brawlers online right now. Is that going to be an Ichabal? Are you getting Ichabal against me? Also, by the way, uh, Ninja Tabby. I still think Ninja Tabby is better here because of the mana. Uh, the mana and the, the attack speed. I do think it's better than power. Just ever since they buffed Ninja Tabby, I think it's just better all around. I do think so. You know, because he did not go Dimian, I am tempted to get crit. And that is always, always a bad thing. Being tempted to get crit is a bad thing. But we'll see. Oh man, that does not slow that much. Okay, 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 I get it. You shred. What on earth? Ikavol doesn't even get pen. How are you shredding me? Jesus. Jesus, look at that damage. Eight auto attacks. And I mitigated over half. Imagine if I didn't have defense. Holy moly. That hits harder than some, some other hunters. We're losing the lead. That's okay. Oh, did you take Bull Demon? Smart. Smart. I'd still prefer this over a tower sitting game any day. Where are you? There he is. Our alt combo won't kill him, but maybe I can poke him down, then ult him. That's bad that that hit me. I have to ult him, and I missed. Fortunately. I just had to miss that, didn't I? Is he getting Atlanta's bow now? What on earth? I'm gonna need to be in. We're gonna have to go double defense. Look what you're making me have to do. Trying to get him to not attack my Phoenix here is a pretty good idea. But he does so much damage! He does so much! Oh, I should have went for new man big time. I've never seen Cupid Autos do this much damage. Look at that. He's 2.1 attack speed with that insane amount of damage. I do have defense. What on earth? He doesn't even have Executioner. Why do you need Executioner when your autos hit that hard? What the actual hell? Is he backing? Oh, okay. Bless, bless your soul for giving me a chance to come back. Bless your actual soul. I doubt I'll come back, but whatever. Whoops. Pretty sure he can just hold left click and win the game right now, but I don't know if we should let him do that. Holy moly, dude. Why do you do so much? Okay. Yikes! Bless his soul, I'm not ending. If I do get to his Titan, I will give him one more fight to make it fair. But yikes! How does he do so much? I need double defense now, like for sure. Double defense is a priority, big time. He doesn't even have execution, that blows my mind. Doesn't have any penetration because he has Hunter's Blessing as well. Not even attackers. Alright. Let's see how we fight into him now. Oh, you went. You went Silver Bow! Alright, you went Silver Bow! That has 10 penetration. 
That's a lot of attack speed, my friend. Okay. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Please let me live! Alright. Him not having penetration started to hurt him. My my Nibia did 400 damage. Alright. Luckily, Neja has has a lot of tricks come late game. Alright, the only way we're not going to lose the game right now is if I take Bolting in. Because... If I back right now and he uh, he takes Bull Demon for himself, then there's no way I can defend Phoenix when it spawns. But if I take it, that means he can't take it, and he has to risk he has to risk diving my Phoenix in order to defend it. Does that make sense? Or in order to take it? Oh, I'm just so nervous right now. All right, last item, Crusher. Crusher's not a good item. Last. Oh, I don't think he appreciates my double defense. Sorry. I, I'm sorry, but if you go a build with no penetration, I'm going to go double defense. I appreciate him not going straight for Titan. But if he... I don't know. I guess it is kind of scummy of me to go double defense, but I didn't really have a choice. If you go full blaster with no with no uh, percent pen, then I don't really have a choice. Again, if we do get to this Titan, I won't I won't kill it right away. We'll, we'll make it fair. This is more like a game with old Titan, I would say, because that's how this is how it would have gone. Neja on the offense with ring bounces with Titans, amazing. Now Spectral does lower Neja's ultimate damage by quite a bit, but it's actually not a counter to Neja on duel. The item you want to get is Nemean. Nemean kind of destroys Neja. On Cupid though, Cupid's so squishy, I'm not so sure. Oh, I want this. I want this so bad. Good. still hit me okay oh you got that up pretty fast three seconds three two one no that's bad unfortunate Don't want to. I want to kill him and then give him one more chance. Because he did that to me. That's fair. That's fair. If I kill him and give him one more chance, that is absolutely fair. All right, we're going back. Call me crazy. Double defense is annoying, but I don't. I don't think it's that scummy if you're doing it to counter build. You know, like if they're not getting percent pen. Then they, this is this is what you should be building into. It. Otherwise, if you weren't allowed to get double defense, uh, a lot of items, a lot of percent pen items would never be bought because the entire point of them is to, of course, do more damage with pen, but to also prevent your opponent from getting double defense. And he's just not getting executioner. backing all right i'll give you one more shot since you gave me one more unless my please don't end minions holy shit that'll be so i'll feel so bad minions do not end this phoenix is about to spawn oh my god wait 
Nope, not needed. Not needed. Wait, hold on. Shit. Oh, fire minions are too strong, though. I'm trying to make it fair, but I can't because fire minions are literally too weird. Lesson learned, no mercy. Oh, he's pretty upset. I'm sorry, buddy. It's just you had no percent pen. That's all it is. If he had X Yushu, I probably wouldn't have gone it. He was hitting way too hard for not hitting having pen. Did he sell something? No. I might have to blink out, worst case. Man, those fire bees killed this phoenix. I wanted this phoenix to come up, but oh well. Alright, looks like we're just gonna end here. Now, I could get a, a speed potion, but... Because I have red buff, I think 3k pot. 3k pot's almost never bought in duel. I think here it's actually pretty good. Just to buy it and end. I mean, Titan has 1 HP. It's a weird game. If my opponent lets me live, I want to let them live, but oh well. Oh well. I'm sorry that you had mercy and it turned out badly for you. I don't really have another response. Just good game. It was an exciting game. I'm sorry that you feel you feel bad that I went double defense, but the way I see it is he did not have any percent pen, and that's really the proper counterplay to that. Same thing against Guardians. If I am playing a Guardian and I don't get any percent pen and my opponent goes double defense, that's kind of on me, you know? Now, triple defense is where it gets, like, pretty scummy. Triple defense is like, okay, you really need some more, some actual power items. GG. I, f I wonder if he'll report me. I have no idea. I've been getting reported a lot. Thank you guys for watching. And honestly, just leave me an opinion on what you thought because in the end, he did win this game. He could have killed the Titan, but he didn't. He gave me a chance to win. So that I wanted to give him a chance to win, but obviously the chance wasn't as good because fire minions were too strong at that point. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys whether I'm in the right or wrong on going double defense. Either way, thank you guys for watching and yeah, have a good one.